So this is my buddy Stephen Ward. He's a uh, certified drone pilot here in Vancouver. And this is the first time he's trying out the Mini 3 Pro. I really like the look of this. I didn't even touch the exposure, so you can play with it. But I mean, like, right out of the, right out of the body, it looks like super nice. Um, I mean, it's definitely like a wider... Feel the view? Yeah. This is Steven's normal machinery, the, the Mavic 2 Pro. So I'm really curious to hear what Steven thinks about the uh, Mini 3 compared to his normal one. No interference from the radio tower so far. Not at all. But like, I see, like, this is, like, this is such a good format for social stuff. Yeah, you're in vertical right now, right? Yeah. yeah. But I mean, like, just, just in general, you know, it's like, because of, like, how cropped, or, or like, because of how much tighter my sensor is. Right. Um, it feels, everything feels slower. Right. It feels more, like... Yeah, you get less parallax. Yeah, yeah. I guess more cinematic. I think that was another big reason why I went with the, uh, the 3 Pro instead of the Air 2S was that wider field of view means you don't even have to fly as high, right? Right. If you're hitting the 120 meter limit, you know, a, a more narrow field of view gives For you sure. less But I mean, like, okay, so Julian, the real question, how many drones have you crashed? Zero. No, that's not true. I, I bought one when I was just starting off. Okay. It was my first, like, you know, you put a GoPro on it. Right. And it was metal, um, which was perfect because I crashed it and I just bent it back to <laughs> shape. But Perfect. it was like, I bought it off Craigslist, it was super cheap, and like, the guy was like, yeah, it's a little janky, but here it is. Right. And uh, it was, like, I was flying and I wasn't doing anything, and then it just sent itself into, like, the side of the hill, and I was like, oh, great, like, my first crash. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I'm crashed. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Bold. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. The remote that comes with the Mavic 2 is is really nice. It looks bigger, um, the screen's bigger, and it just feels more durable. It feels. What do you think compared to your regular controller? It feels a little bit lighter, like a little bit more kind of like RC control. Yeah. Type of a vibe. A little less pro. A little, a little less. Yeah. But still, for for what it is, it's fantastic. Yeah. I did that once recently because I, uh, I was landing it on a boat and mm -hmm. we were on the choppiest of waters and the boat, like, obviously it's relative to me, I can't tell, but it's moving so much right. because it's a GPS stable yeah. and it's like running into me and I'm like fighting the wind <laughs> just to hold it still relative to me. Alright Steven, so before we lose the light, I just want to hear your first impressions of the uh, DJI Mini 3 Pro. I'm really impressed with it. Some of the key points that like I really appreciate it is obviously like the vertical format. Like being able to, to shoot with that in mind is so different than like filming with just only on landscape because I, I am definitely like guilty of just always getting like pulled in by like the beautiful landscapes, you know, because it's just so nice. So I'll just like stare at it and be like, wow, this is so beautiful and then like forget that I'm actually trying to shoot for socials. But like when it's like fully cropped for that, it like, it's a lot, I was a little bit worried that it was going to be a little gimmicky, but it's a lot less gimmicky than I think I initially had thought it would be. Um, it's also super quick. Uh, the wide, wider lens format definitely gives me like a much more kind of POV vibe without like actually having to be flying a POV. Um, especially for video, I really, really appreciate that aspect of it. Um, yeah, I, I would really like to see how this performs in like high wind scenarios, um, because like because of its lighter weight, I think that that might be a place that it might lose a little bit of points on. But uh, so far from the test that I've done today, it's been fantastic, fantastic. Would recommend. Awesome. And I'll just say, like, I haven't tested it too much in wind yet, but having flown it in probably 15 kilometer winds, it's been perfectly fine. So it's something we can test in the future. Yeah.